Hi, I'm Brandon with another Reclaimer update. It looks like Albany's politicians played hooky during their sixth grade civics class because they don't seem to get why government should have checks and balances and public accountability. In recent years, executive and legislative actions have eroded the state controller's power to oversee contracts. Is it any surprise then that the governor's signature economic development programs have triggered concerns about pay to play and federal indictments over bid rigging? Here are just three reasons why controller oversight is a no-brainer. For starters, in 2015, state agencies issued over $6.8 billion in contracts without controller review. Nine associates of Governor Cuomo were arrested on federal charges over a bid rigging scheme related to construction contracts for the Buffalo Billion. Here's the worst. Only 13% of companies given tax credits by the Empire State Development Corporation met job growth and investment measurements stipulated in their contracts. With a less effective controller, New Yorkers are missing one of the most basic oversight mechanisms, which is bad for anyone who's not an Albany crony or political insider. Controller oversight is the bare minimum. Not having it is like driving a car that was never inspected or safety tested. It's a stupid and reckless idea. Lawmakers who put up with it could use a trip to their local middle school to learn how representative government is supposed to work. Thank you for watching, sharing, and staying informed because it's up to all of us to reclaim New York.